Sounds represented by letters in English. Before we begin, let's clarify this. There are 43 word sounds referred to as phonemes in the English language. Your job as a student of reading and writing is to learn these sounds and the scribbles or letters that represent those 43 sounds. Making sounds is natural for humans, whereas writing and reading are not. Being able to read and write takes a lot of effort, and it can sometimes be difficult, but it's not impossible. Understand this distinction. Letters and combinations of letters represent the 43 sounds in the English language. Letters do not say anything. They are just scribbles or lines on a page or screen. Our goal is to learn these 43 sounds using the 26 letters of our alphabet representing those 43 sounds and to read and write them with confidence and effortlessly. There are two types of letters, vowels and consonants. The vowels are A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. The consonants are all the other letters, B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Z. The vowels. Every syllable must have a vowel in English. Being able to identify the syllables helps us chunk words and read them quicker. Vowel sounds are unrestricted, meaning their sounds are made without closing your mouth or stopping the flow of air. Vowels make you shape your mouth more openly. Your lips won't touch when making vowel sounds. Vowel sounds make singing possible. You can hold the vowel sound in a word for a long time, but you can't do that with a consonant sound. When saying a vowel sound, notice that your mouth is in the open position. Let's begin with these four goals. First, let's do an overview of the long and short vowel sounds. Second, let's do an overview of voiced and unvoiced consonant sounds. Thirdly, we will look at consonant sounds that often get confused with each other. Lastly, we will look at consonant sounds that change with certain vowels. A. Long A sounds A, as in the word gravy. Short A is A, as in the word sat. E. Long E is the sound E as in the word me. Short E is the sound e, as in the word met. I. The long I sound is I, as in the word night. Short I is i, as in the word lit. O. The sound of long O is o, as in the word open. The short sound of O is AH, as in the word HOT. U. The long sound of U is U, as in the word MUSIC. Short U is A, uh, as in the word MUT. And sometimes Y. Y can be a long I sound, as in the word Y. Y can also be the short I sound, as in gym. And Y can also sound like long E in the word baby. Now let's look at unvoiced and voiced sounds. Unvoiced sounds are made without using your vocal cords. There is no vibration on your lips or tongue when correctly sounded. Voiced sounds use your vocal cords and you will feel a vibration of the sound on your lips or tongue. Let's look at the letters T 
and D. The letter T is unvoiced. Your tongue is behind your front teeth and you force the air out. T, not T, as in the word teeth. D is voiced. The tip of your tongue is behind your front teeth and pressed to the roof of your mouth. D, not D, or D, as in the word dog. K and G. K is unvoiced. The back of your tongue is pressed to the back of your mouth. Force the sharp air sound. You will feel the K sound as air passing through the front of your mouth. K, as in the word kitchen. G is voiced. The back of the tongue is pressed to the back of the mouth. Force the rounded sound. You will feel the sound vibrate in the back of your throat. G, g, like game. CH and J. The CH sound is unvoiced. The tongue is pressed to the mid roof of your mouth. There is no vibration, just a sharp air sound. Ch, not ch, but ch, as in the word church. J is voiced. It's in the same tongue position as the CH, but you feel the vocal vibration. J, not j, but j as in jellyfish. P and B. P is unvoiced. The lips are pressed together to release a puff of air. P, not P, but a P sound. B is voiced. The lips are rolled in and they let out a puff of air with a vibration at the back of the throat. B, B, not B, but B as in lady bug. F and V. F is unvoiced. The top front teeth are behind the bottom lip and then force out a puff of air. F, like that, as in the word firefly. V is voiced. The top front teeth are on the bottom lip. The forced air will vibrate the lower lip, like this. V, violin. The S and Z. S is unvoiced. The air will pass over the tip of the tongue, just touching your bottom front teeth. S, as in the word sip. Z is voiced. The vibration at the front of the mouth on your tongue is behind the front teeth. Zzz, as in the word zipper. The special sounds of C. When a C is followed by an E, an I, or a Y, the C can sound like an S, as in the word scent, circus, and bicycle. The special sounds of G. When G is followed by an E, I, or a Y, the G can sometimes sound like a J, as in the word gentleman, giant bats, and gym. Gentlemen shake hands, giant bats hang in trees, gym where you work out. L and R. These are called liquid consonants because they make a continuous sound like a vowel. L, ooh, as in the word lake. R, er, as in rake. The letters M, N, and N, G. These are all what we call nasal consonants. These sounds are felt through the nose and the roof of the mouth. The letter M sounds like this, m, mm, as in the word meat. Your lips are pressed together, but you can feel the sound through your nose and the roof of your mouth. The letter N, 
N. The tongue is behind the front teeth and the lips are open, as in the word nickel. The sound of ng is made at the back of the mouth, with the back of the tongue touching the back of the mouth. The g is silent, as in the word sing, sang, sung. The g is not pronounced. Sing, sang, sung are incorrect. It is sing, sang, sung. The H and WH. These are both forced air consonants. These sounds are made by pushing air out and not using your voice. The sound of H is H, as in happy birthday. The sound is H, not H or H, but H, just the air being forced out. Happy birthday. The WH sounds like H, not W, but as in the word whale. It almost sounds like you're making the H sound before the W. Again, whale, whale. Tongue twisters for T and D. Tiny tickled toads toasted delicious dandelions as delectable treats. Tongue twisters K and G. Kindly kindergartner kittens flew a gazillion kites from the kingmaker's kitchen, exploring groundbreaking gravity like gluttonous grasshoppers. Tongue twisters for C H and J. Cheeky church mice chatted while chilling cheese and jellyfish jam for joyful juvenile jitterbugs and joggernauts. Tongue twisters for P and B. Polite people post pictures of plankton, porridge, and passion flowers to bombard and bewilder biologists bothered by brilliant bacteria. Tongue twisters for F and V. Feathered falcon fans favor fictitious, frivolous friends over villains. Vociferously venting volatile vitriolic verses. Tongue twisters for S and Z. Sassy, silly songbirds sing scandalous songs of shipwrecks submerged beneath the zesty, zippy zillionaires' zoo of zombies. Time to practice the individual sounds. Start with the sound of the letter A video. We are connecting letters with sounds to make words.